everyone. I am a guest here, so please take it away. Okay, uh, so this is uh, on Passive 360, and I hope uh, we'll, uh, we'll make it quick. Uh, I do hope so, but we have a few things to share with you. Number one, uh, I want to say uh, happy Eid and Eid Mubarak to all of those uh, with us in the family in uh, all countries. I, I guess except two countries are celebrating tomorrow, uh, Brunei and Bangladesh. All right. Okay. Uh, everybody else is uh, celebrating today. Hope uh, you uh, enjoy the uh, holiday and uh, we uh, wish you safety and uh, happiness to your family. Uh, the second thing is, uh, I wasn't sure if I should say this, but uh, our brother, uh, Mr. Muhammad Kamal, uh, his mother is uh, really not in a good shape at the moment at the hospital. Uh, we ask you to bombard his uh, phone and any way you can post to uh, flood him with uh, prayers and uh, Good spirit, hopefully that will help them. Uh, I spoke with him uh, and uh, she's definitely in need for some prayers. Uh, that was a sudden thing. She's in Egypt, Alexandria. But uh, hopefully she will uh, get better once they figure out what's happening with her. Uh, the second thing is uh, we have a few things uh, that were scheduled to be released uh, on uh, the 18th of April. Uh, they were achieved a little sooner and some of them are already live. So thanks to our team, they uh, were pretty motivated to accomplish it. Uh, I uh, think you're gonna start uh, noticing some uh, new additions to OConnect. Like I said, it's constantly going to get better and better and better and better. So I'm going to walk you through a few notes here. You probably didn't notice them yet or realize them, but I'll bring them to your attention. Uh, let's begin with, you see that camera there uh, for obviously the speakers, they will see it because uh, the rest are attendees. Uh, you're going to see there's an arrow. So the camera uh, icon got wider and when you click that, it brings a, the settings for the camera, as said previously. So that makes it uh, more convenient to uh, uh, select your, then you're going to have that uh, uh, gear inside. By default, it's probably medium, very easy. You click it, a drop down, then you go ultra high definition. I'm going to select mine and I'm gonna go live. You're gonna see the difference on my camera. Apply, all right, look at that. It pops, you see the quality? It boosted my quality at least 3X. Okay, uh, that's the first thing. The second thing, all attendees shouldn't be seeing the lock meeting uh, icon now, because previously they it was there, but obviously functional for certain people. So to keep it simpler, we thought we should remove that from the attendees part. All right, uh, another major one, and I think it got some uh, confusion previously, which is when you share the details of any session, let's forget what used to happen, uh, but first to say what will be happening now, and it's live already. Uh, if somebody takes the ID, okay, if they take the uh, webinar uh, or the uh, event uh, ID and they go join event and they apply it, it depends on if it's a conference, by default, they come as speakers because there are not, no attendees in the conference. Everybody's a speaker. So by default, they come as speakers. That's already done. If it's a webinar and they just have that code, you just say, what's the code? And they go uh, throw it in the uh, join event. 
uh, they will be as an attendee if it's a webinar by default. So everybody, so you're not going to have, I, you probably noticed, I don't know if it happened already, the previous session, you got no uh, confusion. Okay, so that is already sorted and it's solid. It's working perfectly. Uh, it was obviously uh, given everybody uh, speaker access without yeah, so that was just uh, confusing the conference and the webinar. Anyway, we're good now. So that's what matters. So uh, let's recap the uh, video and camera settings. Is, it's already live. The lock meeting only available for uh, those who could, obviously, not for everyone. Is the, the, the host and co-host, obviously. And of course, like I said, uh, the uh, we sorted the uh, event ID. Uh, it will take you to the proper access and uh, permission. Now, uh, there are a couple more small things now here and there, but of course more coming on the 18th. So, copy invitation. You can copy the entire invitation now. That is available. Okay. Uh, the participants uh, window, if you see uh, there is more at the bottom, like you see it got bigger, uh, if you click participants, right, and you have the word more, now it's more bold, it's a little bit uh, thicker, it's more noticeable. Uh, previously, you would have to click, you know, the icon at the bottom, like in the in the tray, uh, the, the the bottom duck duck. Uh, we uh, we had to click back on it in order to hide the list of the attendees. We make it we made it more convenient now by clicking that X at the top if you follow. So you click that uh, participant. You click it again, it disappears. You click it, it pops, uh, but but if you're there looking at the attendees, oh wow, 3,000 plus and keep coming. You are so popular, Red. Okay, you're so popular in America. Uh, and I think a couple more things in, in terms of uh, stability, all of that. Look at that, it's just perfect. Okay, I mean, what else you could ask for? So we're loving it. Uh, just. Uh, Keep your gratitude for uh, the team that is working tirelessly. Uh, I believe we've achieved a great uh, milestone in OConnect, and that is going to open uh, the doors for uh, great uh, steps ahead. Uh, so let me give you a couple of important things now. Uh, as you know, it's holiday date. Uh, so once again, if you just joined us, uh, Eid Mubarak to all of you. Hope you enjoy the holiday. Once uh, the team come back uh, everywhere, basically, uh, we are going to see some uh, modifications uh, when it comes to start preparing for the next uh, package, uh, sales package. Uh, we are in anticipation any moment uh, to see an extension in OConnect for those who purchased OConnect uh, in the last six months at any point they will have an ex, uh, extended period added to their account, uh, very much likely another 10 days. And that could be, possibly could be uh, the last extension. After that, it will be uh, paid. And in a way, I'm glad we have a little bit of gap, like some hours or so, probably it's not gonna be one day, uh, for those who their extension expired. So we can probably appreciate what we're taking, some of us, I uh, don't want to say taking it for granted, but I think it's, it's a good reminder that we have something uh, worth gold in, in hands and we're not paying for it again. Uh, so the company will take the uh, check once again and we'll pick up the check once again. And I, I don't know if, it, if it's not the last one, it could be another small extension here or there. But it is possible this could be the last extension. And from there, we will take it to uh, different packages. Um, that's been said. 
uh, it is time to regroup with some of our uh, early bird founding members. Do you remember that uh, position? Okay. And we said we're going to brainstorm with them when needed, all of that. Uh, so some of them will be uh, invited uh, to weigh in and give their input, which we really need, okay, uh, to because some of them are active uh, and interactive in the team, uh, in the field, so they can give us valuable input. So what would be, uh, you know, um, reasonable uh, setup? I don't want to say prices and all of that. That is dictated by, by the cost and, and the team and et cetera. So, uh, but we need some uh, brainstorming, if you wish, okay? And uh, uh, a number of you will be invited. It don't take the you know uh, personal if you're not invited. Probably just uh, we don't need everybody to be there, so take it as uh, take a break. But if you're around, you know you get invited. We would love to hear from you. And some of you we're gonna fake it that we're inviting you. We're gonna take your opinion, but you know not really. Uh, <laughs> okay, ouch. Uh, but I think after that, everything will open up. <laughs> that made some some people laugh. Okay, uh, so that will uh, definitely uh, get us almost unstuck to the next uh, period. I'm going to clarify something once again, believe it or not. Once again, the reason we are not uh, or paused, we did pay some commissions back uh, from last year, okay, and and some earlier this uh, January, okay, a few, just a few, then we got stuck. The reason we're not doing that, okay, at the moment, we did pay a good part. We did pay out, especially in crypto. So it is not true if somebody says we never paid commissions. We did pay a portion, okay. Uh, and especially for the early, uh, uh, you know, uh, withdrawals. Okay. Now, the reason this got jammed is because the revenue or the sales that came in from OConnect is held by the processor. For whatever shenanigan it is, we don't need to get into that publicly, but we created a legal case and that didn't go well the first time not that the case wasn't powerful it was too easy but with the wrong people that got it a little bit more uh complicated if you wish but that took some three plus months it's not four months it took th three plus months we were supposed to uh, be done before we get into 2024. So, and and that's bigger loss than having the money. Why? Because time, time is more valuable. Then we didn't want to just jump in with just another option. So this time we had to do a broader uh, investigation and connection at all levels, all levels to heads of, of you know, uh, uh, governments and rulers and all of that to make sure that we have the right and what's the right uh, path. You know, we don't want anything shortcut or all of that. We want it legally. Perhaps, hint, nobody can reserve your, uh, reserve your money or hold them, like hijack them, literally, for more than uh, six months. That's 180 days. And that period is just due now, all right, for most of the funds. So either way, it just after the holiday, we're in anticipation for this to get unstuck. This get unstuck, we reactivate our processors. We have more options, obviously, been lined up, okay? And now we should be able to pump them up in bulk. That's the reason. But we cannot say the company didn't pay. And, and the truth is we don't have the funds in hand to be able to do that. And for that reason, once again, for that reason, we did not want to charge another time for OConnect. We kept on paying the bill. We kept on paying the bill. We kept on paying the bill until 
we make sure we clear out the balance from uh, the first round of, of, of the sales, like the launching release, okay? But now we're gonna have more options, we're gonna have other products, so sales are gonna be left and right, and commissions, and for those who qualify, and things are gonna uh, uh, change. Now, there are things I'm not going to disclose publicly when it comes to uh, exact commissions and structure and all that, be because that has been severely manipulated and abused in every possible way by the users or the affiliates. Everybody is throwing that and, and they're giving us a stigma that is not in us, okay? We don't wanna be related to that. So for that reason, if we disclose that to the public, then it becomes another chaotic situation. To avoid that, we'll keep it confidential for those who qualify. You're just gonna see it and enjoy it. But we would assure once again, whatever possible by the book in any country this guy is not a good business man no you, you see nobody was surprised everybody's like yeah sure okay so i didn't break news i didn't kind of like explode your head we're not keeping that I just want to create technology, more value, more goodness, and you know, inspire and influence uh, the world in a good way, in a good positive way, and make a a good legacy or a good a good impact. That's that's the the spirit of unpa of unpassive. Didn't we say we're the correction for the corruption? Didn't we say we're uplifting humanity? Didn't we say AI with heart? The whole focus is we want to do it in a in a clean way. And the, the core focus, the focal point of our process and, and the entire journey is the end user. You're with us, you, you're in it, you win it. Somehow, by utilizing the products, by monetizing, but by no means, don't take on passive as a charity. You get in and just like as much as you can withdraw or, or, or you know, uh, open your own bank, not just a bank account. No, it's not ever the theory. We're not a money tree. We're not a tree monkey. Uh, we're a, a true business brick and mortar, okay? Uh, I don't know if you know that. Uh, one thing I wanna address, we removed exact addresses from the website because of the, again, abuse of that data. People, you know, getting the, the locations tired by going there, including the one in America. They go with no mean, uh, no, no mean or no connection, uh, without a, a prior uh, uh, arrangement and all of that. And uh, one of them in particular, the one in Singapore, they told us, and I'm gonna disclose this, I couldn't be more blunt. They said, if this continues, we're not gonna be able to host you anymore. They're, they got fed up with the people going to the location, the address in Singapore. Okay, we don't. It, it's not operational. It's managerial. It's just administrative at the at the moment. But we wanted to have that foot there for obvious reasons. So that's why you know we don't need to put exact because no need for somebody to go there now. Uh, if you Google. I don't know if you know about Google. There's like a place called Google.com. You type in on passive or whatever is going to, or the location, uh, say Florida or Orlando or Hyderabad or something, it might give you the address, okay? But don't go there unless you have a reason or you have a prior communication with the management or with the uh, staff to go there, okay? It's not. Uh, a customer front type of business, okay? Uh, these are just, I don't know why did we put them out there in the first place, but no longer needed. And by the way, there's one easy address that no matter where you are on planet Earth, you just look for the tallest building on Earth and just walk straight to it, okay? Make sure you have a, a floaty in case you cross the ocean. <laughs> and 
and and you're gonna hit that that building, okay? So, no matter where you are, and that would be, you know, another location. Uh, so I hope that cleared some of that. The extension is a good thing, and the reason we do it, we don't want to charge you. We're taking the cost. So until we, 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 it just our culture, our ethic in a way to not to charge you, we let you enjoy it until we clear the pending withdrawals. If we're interested in the money, if, if you're like, I don't know if you know two letters together, you don't have to be a wizard we are going to continue charging so we can make more money because if we put the link and open it you're going to pay we make more money that's not the case doing the math we're not taking money we're not interested in the money i don't know how to break it down but maybe a man from new jersey could have a better language and can break it down to you no i mean it seriously so if not now anytime the truth is like logically think about it if we're if money is our dimension why would we stop taking money even the founding program from like 2022 why who says no to sales unless somebody's not really focused on the sales or the revenue. Just think some, about that. Some horrible businessman from Orlando, I think. Florida man. Okay. Uh, I hope uh, I was uh, able to clarify a few things here and there, but I'm I'm really happy, uh, super pleased about OConnect how it is now. Uh, pleased about where we are, the direction now we're on track, the right track, which is which is supposed to be solved way before, way before. Is, isn't it that complicated? This is our funds. We will get it, we clear it out, a big portion of it goes to you and we continue uh, uh, you know, the, the plan by opening more and giving you more options. It's that simple, it's that simple. Uh, but uh, learning is not cheap. Experience is not cheap. But very okay. beneficial. Absolutely. Okay, back to you, please. Anyone want to add a word or two? Yeah. I, uh, I want to add a little bit. I got to be quick sure. because the kids are all getting ready for school, so it's loud. My house, believe it or not, is loud sometimes. Um, the good news is, as for you, this is the discussions we've been having, not knowing all the details. This is what we've been talking to people about the gift of giving on uh because no doubt people were flying in here june 22nd of 2022 they would still be coming in if you left them so a company that wants money you would have left the doors open that's been said by red by many people okay me and chris and the other one was listen guys they stop receiving money because there's money that can't be given back no company does that no company in the planet, you guys would still have money coming in and say, look, we'll try to get your money, but who knows when. You stopped in both directions because that's what Unpassive is. And we've been saying that for One a long time. One sole reason is because the we have a principle. It's a, it's a principle thing. We don't want to take more money. We just don't feel good about that. Uh, what it's good it's necessary we need it we need it for the operation it it's this thing is not cheap it's not free in a way but it it definitely got us behind but the problem is we just don't feel good about taking more and not clearing the the previous battle and we will clear we're confident we will say you know what we're just gonna have a different direction or something but we're very clear it is only a matter of time we will clear that and this will be behind us hopefully once for all 
and uh, you know we will not make a mistake with uh, these type of processors. Uh, but uh, eventually, we're going to have our own organic solutions. Period. Nobody's going to handle yes, what we without have. Without a doubt, that is totally insane way to run business. But it's on passive, and people need to know that. That's why when people say it, oh, uh, uh, I said, well, who else would do that? Who else would give you eight months or a year now of True. O Connect? A year. And we're on every night. What would that have cost? Well, what would it have cost if any other company would have been five grand a month? But it's ridiculous. And that's what we've been really pushing. Listen, you don't have to know everything, but if you see what's going on, you've got to be able to put this together. That's why we try to tell people look at what's going on. They froze, but they froze because they can't give. That's crazy. I mean, yeah. That, that, would so would anybody that agree about. that the value is worth, say, keep it on the basic, okay? On the basic, really basic, okay? $100. What you have up to 10,000 attendees with all the features, recording all of that, don't you think it's worth $100? I mean, do you want me to pull a website and show you the cost of 1,000? It's greater, 1,000, not 10,000 attendees. It is greater than $100. Yes, it is. No so doubt. you're taking 10 times more cheaper. But if we apply, we want 10,000, number one, you don't qualify for it. You're going to have to submit some documents. Why do you need 10,000? What kind of business do you run and make a contract for a year? You're locked in for a contract of a year. Okay. You might have to prepay like three months or something. And then it's about 5,000 US dollars plus for the same thing, less features. And you don't get the additional benefits and services in the ecosystem on the, uh, on the dashboard as a friend in, uh, uh, Michigan says, but he's a Florida man now. Uh, now, <laughs> uh, you missed that before. So when I say $100 on the low, keep it $100. A million customers paying you $100. Anybody knows the math? $100 million. You know, all the celebrities you know go, some of them, maybe you have to add 10 of them or more to make up that $100, uh, $100 million. And if we did that for 10 months, that's $1 billion. Do the math. So we left a billion dollars on the table because of that principle. Do the math. There's something called calculator here. One hundred dollars, uh, the cost of a subscription per month, time one million customers. We have three million, but assuming only third are buying, just like now, okay? But without a proper, uh, you know, processor and with the glitches we've had, uh, you know, roughly a million now. Uh, three okay so it's 100 million dollars a month a month time 10 months we don't want to say a year okay i could say a year 12 months but again i like to be conservative to when it's nine zeros on the right of that dollar it's a billion with a b and alien it's a billion. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you see, we're not like, oh, crying or chewing our nails for that. No. Not a biggie. Okay. If money will flow like crazy with uh, with what we have. We're, we're not concerned about that. But it's better to do it uh, ethical, with integrity, in a clean way. Uh, proper way, purely without uh, causing any 
say, pressure or any inconvenience for people. I'm so glad you. I'm so glad you brought that up today. Yeah, that's, that's good. Yeah. So Naresh, um, it was one was able to sneak. How did that happen? Yeah, I just got rid of him. Okay. So I just blocked the session. All right, four thousand people. I I couldn't be uh, more surprised to be honest with you. That was uh, round two of on passive three hundred and sixty. If you want to hear the real on passive three hundred and sixty. We have to watch a previous video on the same channel. Uh, the previous one's going to get dumped. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> okay. I don't know if you have anything. Uh, please uh, take it away. I'm, I'm just going to sit and listen to you uh, if you have anything. But perhaps look, uh, be on the look for a brainstorming uh, session real soon uh, so we can... Uh, put our puzzles together for the next uh, phase. Well, thanks, Ash. And absolutely. Hey, hey, Ash, Thank can, you you much, me, Ash. can you get me the recording, Ash? Uh, absolutely, as soon as it's available, oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, you just answered every question that was asked me for the last two months, so I, I appreciate yep. it. Of course, that's <laughs> what I do. None of it, none of it is a surprise. No, no. If everybody is watching what's going on, I, I don't. I, don't I agree with it. you. It shouldn't be a surprise if, if you know the mindset of us. Yeah, just look at look at what's been uh, whatever. But we've we've been saying, haven't we, Marta? We've all three of us have been saying exactly this for such a long time. Almost, almost exactly. If, if you just almost look exactly. at what you've done, if you just look at things in front of you, then you wouldn't have this anxiety, worry about the money. What has always comments. been done, why and, would and, you expect a different outcome? The, what again, we've done has always been giving, right? So I, I don't get it. It's like people forget. Or but something. also, with, with all the respect, okay, uh, I know there is a very, very major part of your calculation, most of you, money, profit, revenue, income, whatever you want to call it, you're right. There's no uh, judgment on that. But I want you also to consider for us to be a healthy business, sustainable business, we cannot make it just money driven type of business model. Uh, that will lose the value of it. That will lose some of the principles again and will be just another one. Uh, so this is something, please be a little bit mindful that it's not just money. There are other aspects. They also have to align together alongside with the money. Money is, is a main thing, is a, is a big thing. I'm not saying it's, it's worthless or secondary. No, it is a big deal, but it's not the only thing. It's that simple. So every time you think, okay, this, that, uh, please, please, think you're not the only one in the business and this business was not created just to make unlimited amount of money and send it to you because no matter what would be that amount of money you will never be satisfied so there's no entitlement to that you think there is a great opportunity with an ethical legal valuable business life-changing products no doubt about that okay game changer as as a whole when it comes to the uh, uh marketplace and and the connection with it it will make a severe impact a positive impact mark my word now on the other hand you cannot achieve that by just talking about money money you know how much you put how much you take out it's not a money game it's not a money game and you have to have your own plan i'm providing the business model the platform the value the products all the 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 marketing this and that is a little part that you have to take which is first of all you got to be in it okay really in it i mean not just like go to the back office and like you are cussing at this money monster ash or this you know uh, <laughs> crazy company and all that that's not the right mindset so be in it with the right heart with the right mind okay then things are gonna align 
accordingly. The second thing is have your own plan. Everybody has a different uh, perspective, different projection. And no matter what we do, we're not going to force you to go to a certain direction. We're going to provide you with the most viable track or a vehicle to reach to your desired outcome. It could be different. Not everybody, I assure you, not everybody is here just because of that figure, how much or the bigger or the more is better for them. That's not our success parameters. Our success parameter is like doing it first, rightfully, cleanly, and secondly, uh, making a you know positive impact, making making a difference. Okay, uh, for you and and our, for those who are around you. So please, please just try to be mindful. It's not just money. It's a is a part of it, but it's not the only thing. Listen, I, I believe sharing what the company is, for me, this is me personally, what the company's done and what the company is, is it is more valuable than the products themselves, or at least equal. But for me, it's more because, right. look, I've known all these plans. I've seen all these. You can make this in 90 days. They give you some kind of rhyme or some crap. Nobody ever makes it. But when yeah. you, if you can go to somebody and say, you know what this company did, not what best product, whatever, what this company did, and what you did is why the movement that you have. It's what you did is why we have the movement. It's not because oh, it's the best digital, this best, even though it will be. That's it. That's happening anyway. The power of this company is from doing things totally different. The, probably the way they should have been done all the time. But yeah, that, that to me is the most powerful part of this. Let's, business. let's oh, play with math. If you're a math, uh, you know, mind, okay, we just played the math, how much the company left on the table. And that's just from O-Connect. What if we said, you know what, uh, there are products that we already have, example, and you have it also, let's say O-Tracker. We could have charged also 10 months ago or six, seven months ago, whenever it was, okay. Uh, do the math. Look how much I care. Okay. And for any price, it could have added a few more hundreds of millions. You see how much money there? And we have other products. Let me tell you something. You know, Dr. Tarek and, and Dr. Susan and, okay, they're so pissed for how much we're holding and disappointed for how much we're, uh, uh, you know, um, holding a platform we have, okay, we don't want to say what it is, okay, now, but it's about uh, self-education, okay, and courses and all of that. We could have made even greater than the, uh, because this would open to outside, uh, you know, the 3 million customers and on passive. This could have been viral, okay, uh, the many courses, the connection, and people are ordering. Like I'm talking about by countries, by by universities, by colleges, by uni uh, schools. They're ordering a, a fraction, just a fraction of that uh, of of those uh, uh, items sales. It will be a flood of cash. But we want to have the healthy, solid uh, foundation to be able to take that in and process it accordingly. And gr uh, growing too fast apparently is a problematic thing. It ticks off so many uh, minds. You you could see that. Uh, but, uh, but that's one thing. The other thing is from your side, what you want to think about, what if we charge you not $5,000? Ten percent of that, $500. For those who have used the product, only $500. And let's not say, okay, for 10 months, I'm going to cut that to half. Okay, fair enough. Five months. For the past five months, we just wanted to charge you $500 for something worth $5,000. For you, five months, $500 a month, $2,500. We saved you. Again, being ridiculously con conservative, 
I'm playing with math. Just use your calculator if you don't know math, but be aware of the numbers. If we're after the numbers, I'm showing you the numbers. What could we take or how much you're saving monthly or how much we could earn if we're after that? So any way you play it, it's just hard to believe we're money-driven uh, mentality or a money-driven okay, uh, type of company. So, uh, but I had to clear that up just in case because people are not going to do their own thinking. It's something called thinking. You should start when you're three-year-old, okay? Uh, it's a good thing. Try thinking, by the way, for free. If you start thinking, you will realize, yeah, there's no possible way this company is here to uh, pile up that revenue or to cause any uh, discomfort to, to any user. We're here to give you value, period, and save you money, save you time, inspire you. We're giving you the platform to uh, dare to dream again. Uh, put your hopes and, and dreams again, okay? That is in, invaluable. That, that is unmatched. What I'm trying to say is so valuable to get people to uh, to have hope and, and dream again and come, come together in a, in a very united, loving uh, community uh, in a divided world. So uh, my uh, prayers again goes to our brother, Mr. Kamal, and uh, his mom, perhaps. Uh, we hope this will be uh, taken care of by God. Uh, it's possible. With your prayers, uh, we hope it will uh, get better. Uh, I was talking about uh, everybody, every country, every business, uh, entity, every government, every organization is somehow on a race to AI. Artificial intelligence is a good uh, target pretty much for the entire world at the moment in 2024. In the beginning of, of uh, um, um, passive uh, creation, we used to say we uh, AI is the future, so we have to be on the game. And now it is the present. It is now. If you're starting now and starting to uh, sketch your way in the game, you could be a little bit behind. So you need to speed up and catch up with the game. So thankfully and fortunately, we got in the game, or at least the interest and the kind of like joggling our way in, 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 in the game uh, in the early stages so we can learn more and all of that. So we did some practices. We did some um, uh, probably achievements or uh, progress in a way. Uh, it's, a, it's an interesting thing. Now, uh, rightfully, I would say AI is pretty much the same as the... Uh, internet it's a sword of with two edges it could be harmful it could be disastrous okay or disastrous and it could be uh, helpful and useful and valuable to humanity it's how you use it so there's a good side of the internet and there's a bad side there's the monopoly there's the abuse there's the uh, uh, defamation there's the blackmailing there is the negative uh, negativity if you're in that god be with you uh, because uh, early on i realized uh, social media isn't a good thing i realized that it's more negative and it's fake than actual life unless you need a hug or a friend and you need attention you hide behind a, a username anonymously and you start bashing and barking at everybody there, okay, uh, without any qualification on the topic, that's a problem. So I didn't subscribe to that personally. You don't see me on the internet. You don't see me on, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, the social media 
a platform for a reason. I don't believe in them. I'm not in need for the corrupt uh, use of them. Okay. And if you read, it makes you feel bad, right? It kind of like gives you that negative sadness or whatever. So I realized, why should I read? Because nothing good come from that direction. You're not going to be inspired on Twitter, all right, <laughs> or X now, okay? Uh, so to, to wrap this up, the internet has so much ugly, but as well, look what we could do with it. We could bring the world together, we could benefit, we could learn, we could you know, run businesses, we could operate, is how you use it. AI is no difference, is how you use it. So every one of those uh, entities I just mentioned is, they have that pursuit of, AI or artificial intelligence, they want to get there. They know they want to go there. They're on that race. Like back in the days, they used to say race to space or race to the moon or race to weapon or, you know, this type of uh, bomb or whatever. Now it's the and and the digital currency uh, or cryptocurrency race or this or that. Now it's AI race, period. And Mark Cuban, a successful American millionaire or billionaire, I'm way behind. Billionaire is a bigger number, okay. Uh, he said, whoever nails AI first will be the first trillionaire, man or woman. I couldn't agree more. Uh, that is a profound analogy. Uh, I'm not interested in the figure side of it, but I'm interested more on the value. It is so true. I agree. Those who can master AI first will be wealthy and successful beyond imagination. But how? Are you going to use it? Because every one of those directions, they're on a different path. Like some people are using AI for uh, military, okay? Some people use it for hardware, okay? Like robotic AI, artificial intelligence to do uh, certain tasks for us. So like, like Tesla or any uh, of the Chinese manufacturers, so robotic. And that's kind of like machine learning and artificial intelligence. And, and we also know the um internet surfing and servicing and marketing and and you know getting those uh, uh, uh features here and there uh, that's another thing so what exactly you're after or aiming to achieve in artificial intelligence the and i i just said off the record that there there's good news and bad news the bad news is no one there yet. So we didn't say per se achieved AI because what it is, because we, we have different definition for that target. Everybody's aiming for a different direction, a different destination. Uh, this country wanna do that. This country want to uh, get to that uh, part of AI just maybe for intelligence or for, uh, controlling the media or uh, the press in a way, okay? So everybody has a different uh, outcome. And because of that, there's room and there's an opportunity for everybody because your destination could be different than their destination. So everybody has a chance. So it's, it's an interesting thing to, to learn as much as we can. In the past, uh, because it was like, a, the millennial are more savvy in using those uh, new gadgets and the uh, smartphones and all of that with the technology. It created some discomfort for the uh, uh, baby boomers. And um, you have to look those terms up if you're not familiar with them. Baby boomers, may, maybe I think we, 
we, we take a little bit of both, okay? So they were challenged because they didn't grow up using those technologies. So they would have to acquire them. So some of them, they just, ah, it's complicated. They didn't even want to learn. They were just blocked mentally. So now you have a chance. You could avoid that, say, oh, AI, this is something very sophisticated. It's so advanced and all that. I'm out of here. I'm not going to get it. No. I'm going to warn you. You need to understand this part of the of, of our daily life. Uh, it's not just the future. It is now. It's happening. you got to have the basic understanding of that, or at least what part of AI is useful to you. No matter how, either a user or a creator of the AI, it is gonna be impactful to the, to the point where it could change the course of your financial future, if you do that. So here's the good news about Unpassive. We're creating that on behalf of you. So you don't have to deal with the mechanics or exactly what you want to do. So we're creating that healthy, that uh, benign uh, type of AI to ease our life and simplify it. And you just have to tap into that. So we're creating that for the crowd in a way. So that's a good thing. Uh, and then monetize to that. But make no mistake, if back in the 70s, you know, those who worked in the hardware sales and all of that, I don't know, they sold like uh, kitchenware and, and all of that, uh, they became wealthy millionaires. And then uh, vitamins and nutrition, I believe in the 80s or whatever, okay, they became wealthier. And then those who uh, got in the first dot-com boom, I'm talking about late 90s in the beginning of the 2000 or the millennia, okay, they became billionaires. Now, during that same ratio, those who will be in the game of AI, what is possible? I'm not going to claim figures but it's very much likely going to be either with the B category or greater. Just do the simple calculation. So it is really powerful, and we do that. I was going to get into politics. Uh, United States in America is run by some old guys, okay? They got no clue about AI, and it scares them to death. Uh, so, and, and I have the evidence for that because they try to regulate social media and search engine and all of that because of, uh, the, uh, first amendment in, on, uh, in, in, in the United States constitution, which is free press and free speech. Okay. Uh, so to allow everybody to do that, to regulate it, uh, they failed because as of now, it is not a true free speech. It is controlled and manipulated and uh, mono uh, m monopolized by certain players in the game. So that is a problem. So they could not regulate it. What, how do you expect them to do it when they're like 175 years old? Okay, so they have no clue about the social uh, media. I'm talking about Congress, men and women, and Senates, okay? Uh, they're mostly unfit, uh, mostly. Some are probably more uh, knowledgeable, but unfit, uneducated enough, or not educated enough to uh, regulate such a thing. Now, it got even more complicated when they tried to regulate cryptocurrency. It's a powerful tool as well. It could uh, simplify our life, and that is you, the, the use of uh, digital uh, currency. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm not claiming this coin or that coin or all of that, okay. but at least it's, it's time for digital money. It could be digital dollar, US dollar. It doesn't matter, okay, what currency, but it has to be digital or digitized. 
because I could get on a webinar right now. I'm in the East Coast of the United States, uh, speak to somebody in the UK uh, ac across the ocean and somebody right now in, you know, across the country on the other side in California or Vancouver, uh, Gersmender, and somebody near us in New Delhi or in, uh, in India, okay? And somebody could be with us in Singapore. It's, it's amazing, powerful. We could do that instantly with this communication. If I send you email, if we get on a conference, on a webinar, this and that, unless we want to exchange some funds, it becomes more challenging. I cannot do it to you instantly. What are we going to use? You have to have what I use. We have a different currency. There's a fee to that. There is a security. There's this and that. So we're not there yet. So, and they also failed to regulate in two presidents ago, ex ex president. That makes him gigantic, but he's skinny. President Barack Obama. Okay, they they were on the verge of regulating cryptocurrency, and then. They had some attempts within the uh, Trump era, completely blocked in the current, you know, this old guy here. Um, now, what happened is, it's not regulated, it's not monitored, so everything can go it could go either way in a harmful way it could be in in the wrong hands it could be in the good hands too so we're falling behind and now ai is the race right but we still didn't figure out two things before two eras before the social media or the internet uh regu regulation and um we didn't legislate the proper uh, uh, set of rules for that. And the same thing with uh, the digital currency. And now we are challenged or faced to be ahead of the game when it comes to AI. So that's why it's a tense race, but here's a problem. So you hear Elon Musk here, you can say, okay, well, he's an American entrepreneur or um, uh, inventor, true. But Elon Musk is not working for America and he's not working for humanity. He's working for Elon Musk. Same thing as X, the core purpose of, of controlling X is to have that power to control the uh, press and the, and the speech, period. You hear that from him, not from me, okay? So um, that's why if you're going to analyze, should we do it? Is it a good thing, bad thing? You're going to be behind. I gave you the example of the United States of America when the, we're leading in so many uh, things or fields, uh, but we're definitely falling behind with that. China is not messing around with AI. South Korea is not messing around with that. Believe it or not, I was, with some reports, I was shocked about how advanced is Indonesia in the game. Look it up. And so on and so on and so on. So there's a massive field open, wide open for the game and the race in AI, artificial intelligence. And hopefully with our efforts, our good intention, our good desire, we would have a great uh, uh, achievement in what we're doing and working on in on passive. That's all I wanted to say. Uh, we just opened the topic of AI. So the possibilities are endless, are limitless. We're in 2024. It's not a question if it's gonna be there, if it's important, if it matters to me or not, it does matter to you. It's like oxygen, it's like water, it's everything. You need to be aware of what's happening or you're gonna miss out on the possibilities. I'm not gonna say something is gonna happen. So it's good to be aware of that and to be thankful, to be grateful that our company early on uh, recognized the potential and the power of AI. We used to say the power of the internet, but add to it the power of AI now. 
And now you could just imagine the possibilities. They're endless. All right, let's go back to New Jersey now. Uh, you told me to record this. Uh, you could sell this course for three dollars, I guess. <laughs> As, per, I want to know uh, no one thing. Per I, thousand. <laughs> I want to know uh, Ash one thing as we are talking about AI. So is there any difference between uh, like a, a digitization of the things and tokenizations of the thing? Because I, I'm uh, hearing so many things that uh, like uh, real assets or something like th they are get getting tokenized. And uh, so what's the difference between uh, uh, these things? Uh, like I said, everybody is, is chasing that target in a different way. So there is hardware like machine that is taught to act in a certain way. Okay. I'll give you an example, horrible example. Okay, so uh, some drones are trained to identify certain objects and shoot. Sensor, uh, you know, sensor something and take that kind of, uh, so this is a combination between uh, um, electromechanical, all right, uh, combination. So there's some mechanical, there's electronical, and there is uh, that digitized, a purely digitized thing, like, for example, facial recognition or virtual background or translation or all of that. So there are different aspects of uh, having that predictive analyst for the data, like, you know, chat, or, you know, you used to call the phone, you know, your bank. If you want to speak to a representative, press this. If you want, you know, to check your balance, or, you know, you, you do that. If you want to dispute a charger, that is kind of like binary, yes, no, this, that. So it will, it's it's trained be, depending on where, where you call from or the number you call. And now the same thing on the website is digitized. So you come from this website or this section, the machine is uh, trained to say, okay, you must have a question about a connect or something, or is it about billing? Because like you came just from the wallet. or the, So this is the type of predictive analyst or data that the machine will provide to you. Okay, so uh, we're more interested in that type. Okay, so we're not interested in any harmful technology by replacing the uh, manpower. We're talking about giving the user more possibilities and more abilities to, uh, uh, to, to accomplish more uh, within the same activities. And, and they have to do less or they will do less and achieve more. That's the type of AI we're interested in. Okay, thanks. So if somebody has that notion, oh, is it gonna replace us or is it gonna attack us? That is complete, complete nonsense on, you know, on the proper way, but it's uh, actually, it's insane and stupid to think that way. Uh, we create the code and the software for AI or for the machine. The machine is not gonna wake up and think, you know what, I'm gonna take over the planet. That's in the movies, okay? It doesn't happen. Unless the machine one day will write its own software, okay? And decide I'm gonna do some evil things. It's not gonna happen, okay? So relax, there's no way that the machine will overtake uh, humanity, no. But there are some evil usage of or usages of the um, uses of the uh, AI. We're on the good side. We, of course, we are. And uh, once again, Eid Mubarak, everyone, and uh, go enjoy the day. Uh, perhaps uh, don't choose Google for New Jersey language. I put that, and it gives me we don't support such a language. If you're in Bangladesh, you don't know what we're talking about. That's a Florida man thing. If you don't know what a Florida man means, um, you have to live in Florida. <laughs>